Hello, this is Michael AF5FV. This is my latest crystal radio playing. And uh, it's been playing for a while. It's, I'm using uh, a basic, uh, basically a poor quality long wire antenna. Um, well, poor because it's uh, only about five feet off the ground in some places. And it's, it's about a hundred foot. And uh, I've got a station here. This is uh, 1140 AM. It's uh, not difficult to pick up with a transistor radio, but uh, not too often do I get it with a crystal set. And uh, I'm feeding it into my hi-fi amplifier. I uh, realize that computer speakers don't make the best crystal radio amplifiers. But, uh, you know, a good hi-fi unit will have plenty of gain and a uh, good, good fidelity. As you can see, my crystal set is uh, made in two sections. I've got an antenna tuning unit. And you can see that I've uh, tweaked this thing into resonance. Just changing stations using the antenna tuning unit and then this is the detector coil and I'm able to select I mean it's, the neat thing about the reason why they're separated is uh, I'm able to uh, use it as a loose coupler and I'm able to select using distance I'm going to turn the radio volume up on the amplifier. As I bring them closer together, I lower the frequency. All right, here's 930. That's 1140. And then... We have a, a very, very loud station at uh, 1520 that would normally dominate a radio, but I should be able to. We can lower the or raise either one of these capacitors and start over, so I'm able to. I can go down in frequency. There's a, uh, probably the hardest to get people to understand. Sure. No, he's winning. Okay. That was a thousand. I just wanted to make sure. That's a thousand. Nine thirty. And I can. Also. It'll work up to several inches. I amazing. have a connection over here. Now my alligator clips are kind of cheap <clears throat> that I'm using to connect to it. There's 800. See if I can get, bring it all down. There's 800.
I can get 640. It's not as loud just yet, but you know, sometimes these things. There we go. It's a matter of. Look at that. When I can actually filter 800 and 6, 640 uh, are blended, but if I move it around and adjust it enough, I can uh, fine tune it and uh, filter out the unwanted station, which is incredibly nice. Let's see if I. But if I choose to remain discouraged, it's because of a choice. I need to fix a wire here right quick. You don't have to remain discouraged no matter what's going anyway, on. Anyway, that's with the long it's wire antenna. You know what I've been through. You know what I've been through. Somehow, in some way, because of the relationship to Christ, God worked. That's a, my alligator to clip. Help them to be able to overcome it. Now. Nine thirty again. Eight hundred. If you're one of those persons who's been disappointed, six six uh, forty. What is it? One thousand. Who do you see? It's seven three. That's Eleven forty. And it's unbreakable and inescapable. There's a lot of stations between um, 1140 and 1520, and I'm sure that uh, 1520 is this huge station that is so powerful it could actually drive a speaker. And uh, I've actually got a speaker here with a transformer. So, and uh, we can demonstrate that. I'll set the amplifier down and turn the volume down on it. Yeah, I had the amplifier turned up on that, but you know, it's beautiful. And uh, most of that I could hear with a headphone if I wanted to. Um, impedance matching transformers. Uh, the type typically used in uh, business intercom systems, Muzak, and uh, school intercoms used them. It was to transmit, you know, a high impedance line which used a, a fine bell wire to, uh, I can already hear something. I'm going to go over here and get, I can start with the big loud station. See, maybe I should think I get more volume out of the yellow wire. I'm going to go with my uh, ham antenna. That thing always blasts. I can actually hear 1560 now when I moved them apart. I'll get over here to it. I'll 
got felt on the bottom of these bases. Uh, so it makes it easy to slide. And uh, there's the tank circuit, the detector diode. You can see it decoupled. Well, I gotta admit, admit, speaker thing's cool, but it's boring if your radio can do more than just pick up one station. So, I'm going to wrap that up. Uh, it's just, it, it, you know, I can hear it in the room. And uh, last night when I tried it, Know, the station's power was up or uh, I had a better connection or whatever but it was plenty of volume we're gonna go back to the amplifier <clears throat> then I want to demonstrate something else that it's capable of doing that you might appreciate who do those small business owners rely on? See, that's small just way... Small business owners know... Way powerful, so I usually need to tune off of that, but that is so, you know, that's quite selective, especially that station, because I, it'll dominate most any crystal radio I've ever had here, or built, or... Um, We just got all kinds of variables and frequency selection and, and rejection tuning just with these these three options right here. You. Finally got one to perform like this. I've always wanted to make one just just perform. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, it's, it's basic circuit. It's just a matter of getting everything right, eliminating all the excess junk that doesn't make it uh, better, you know. And you build one, you put a lot of doodads on it, then they, the, the doodads really need to help it work. See, they're... This one's done symmetrical. Yeah, there's a little trade-off by putting the capacitor in the center, but it actually keeps the coil in check. Uh, practice they did in the 20s. Of course, the capacitors were huge back then, but they put the coil right next to that capacitor. They didn't put le long leads on them and bend them all different ways. There's no sense wasting, you know, wasting uh, energy. I just think it's a Actually, I'm, you know, retracking some of the same stations. In their state. Whoa, I guess I'm going to stay off that big station. Of course, you know, all I'm going to do is blow up the amplifier. But anyway, this is the other cool thing this does. I'm going to remove, I turned off the amplifier, I'm going to remove the uh, detector and set it aside. And I'm going to introduce a little portable radio. And of course, it, what you're hearing there is the fluorescent lights in the room. Other explorations of gold, platinum, they're fine. A lot of flag. I'm not a big 
the veins are getting and shallow. Yeah, you know, he's so, you know, it's so what? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's an external antenna tuner that uh, magnetically couples to your portable radio. And it covers most of the band, if not the whole thing. Depending on your antenna, but, you know, this one seems to work with uh, I, I don't even think I'm going to get bored with this, and if I put it up for sale, I'm going to make sure I'm building another one and another one. I've got the formula down, and uh, I think this is going to be fun. Um, let me show off the hardware here. I'm going to disconnect all this stuff and bring the other piece back. Anyway, it's it's uh the 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 two halves are you know symmetrically identical. The uh, wiring configuration it will be different because the antenna tuners it's uh, the uh, capacitor is actually connected to ground. The tank circuit is actually tickled by a capacitor because we have to make up for the lost capacitance in the type of windings that I use and uh, there's a, a little bit of a frequency adjustment capacitor and uh, of course there's that that crystal diode and uh, I think it's slightly handsome and uh, these are also the covers actually open and uh, it's kind of dangerous area because uh, you know things could get broke. There was, you know, it's a very fragile little set. But uh, what's cool about it is it's not going to get dirty. You know, I mean, you can dust off the outside. It's uh, in a case. You know, and if of course Oklahoma, we've got high humidity. So if I mailed somebody one and it has condensation, they might have to try it out unless I can get, you know. Uh, but uh, our humidity's you know, medium, sometimes it's low. Um, I'm not the best woodworker, but uh, I managed to get at least something on there that's presentable and uh, match up the, the two halves. It was time consuming. A little plastic quality, you know, these are actually inexpensive plastic boxes, so, you know, but uh, I tried to get everything straight as I could. And uh, didn't turn out too bad actually. So this is. Uh, I'm really proud of this set, especially with the looks and performance and the the fun that it is to own. And uh, I can usually couple with a good antenna. I can couple, you know, maybe as much as five five inches or more apart. And uh, it it's, makes it quite a selective and uh, interesting set. Well, thanks for watching.